I have been told to play Battle Talent so many times the past few months, and I dragged my feet on it because one, this community's suggestions are almost always smooth brain, but also because melee combat has been done in VR over and over and over again. Oh, but at the same time, the reason there's so many melee VR games out there is because it's fun. Cool. All right, stand here. Nice. Good job, guys. That's really great. And Battle Talent is no exception. But what is exceptional about this game is the truly grotesque goblin design. There are ear physics? There are ear physics. Before I say anything else about this game, by Talos, I should be censoring these things. They are so floppy and wobbly and engorged. This is easily one of the creepiest, most disgusting NPCs I have ever seen. You're seeing it in a 2D video, but when your brain sees it in VR, it wants to run. Or in this case, stab it several times. You know what it is, is it's, it's too high res. I could see every pore in their skin, and so it's just, it's so deep in the uncanny valley. So at the start, I subsisted off of that desire for a while and the game's truly monolithic art style. I was right about you. What what is Dark Santa the saying to me right now? Of the undead is already connect. Unlock <laughs> what? more of your talents at the temple first. Okay. And he's gone. But I was confused. It had arena modes and good graphics and the stabbing and slashing felt very clean and satisfying. Oh. <laughs> but that's all stuff Blade and Sorcery does on a daily basis. There had to be more to this game to be referred so many times. <gasps> this is very promising. What is this? Ooh! The wall just squirted at me. And then I discovered the dungeon mode, and the perks, and XP, and I subsisted off of that for a while. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, an Indiana Jones VR game would be pretty sick. But the, uh, the old one, not the, well, the young one. The old, young Indiana Jones, not the new, old Indiana Jones. But still nothing groundbreaking. Purge statue? I, c I could go for a good purge. And then I saw the trailer. to tell me that this and this I caught an axe with my axes amazing are the same game no nope, that doesn't do anything okay let me just oh so feeling very inadequate all of a sudden I got back on the game with the express purpose of figuring out where all of this hidden content was there's two things I could be doing and I've done both of them and then it's it's the end right sandbox yeah I'm missing something. I have to be missing something. And against all odds, I actually started to find it. There we go. There we go. Oh, he actually walks. Oh, that's cool. That's better than the like floaty thing. That's really cool. All right, so let's come over here. Excuse me, sir. The Egyptian puzzle box that is this wall of postage stamps, turns out, is where you spend XP to unlock essentially the entire game. When you float up in the air and cause damage, you will maintain floated? Tear apart. If you grab and pull some fragile enemies, you can tear them apart. Pause. Hello. Before I just start ripping random NPCs to shreds, allow me to rip my audience retention to shreds by encouraging you to skip to this timecode. It will bring you right back to the content, and you don't have to witness me yelling at random strangers for not following directions for 730 consecutive days. It's a hobbit, Spass, Ninja, Nate G, Vamble Messi, find my book, Praise Wildstar. <laughs> Okay, the last four here are a doozy. One, week 11 of trying to get Corey a sandwich. I'm sorry that I failed. We had a plan in place. Corey never got a sandwich. Instead, he got eight chicken wings. This way, I can shitpost on a channel with 661,000 subs, warm my cockles by Habby's stream, and Colburn, I'm sorry I hurt Alex. Please forgive me. Hold up. 
this is record scratch. What is happening right now? Am I in like friend group drama? This is bizarre. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened so far with the Atomic Mirror Brains. And Matt is saying a lot. There is no context that makes sense other than this being real. Stop it. Get some help. A normal falchion? Foul... A falchion... Falchion... Normal falchion... Weapons, spells, perks, the ability to dodge... Uh, yeah, that might be useful. Everything you could ever use in a mission. Oh no. Okay, well here's the fireball spell. I will put it in my... right hand. Why can't I tear you apart? I can't- I'm just- I'm kissing him. I'm trying to rip his head off and I'm kissing him. Time to die. No, I killed myself! And originally, I thought the missions were just game modes because there were only like four of them on the menu. There's six things here, I don't know how to count. But once I got through all four of them, an entirely new area unlocked. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, is this a... Oh, this is new content. Including parkour, but I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to do it. Hang on, I'll, I'll jump to the next one. I'll jump to the next one, that's what I'll do. Ready? Oh my god. And that's when everything started to click. Whoa! I didn't realize it was that strong. Wait, I want more of that. You can do so many different things in this game. Things I never would have ever thought possible if I didn't have a Twitch chat to tell me about it. I'm about to put that to the ultimate test. Huh. Ha! Okay, that's sick. That's really cool. You can load the sword into the crossbow. There is no way in hell you are correct about this, and I'm still going to try. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's really a phenomenal VR game. The environments are kind of bland, but other than that, everything else is spectacular. Oh my god, you can load the sword into the crossbow. So there, I did it. I played it. And you were right. It's really good. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him in the ribcage. I got him in the ribcage. I'm gonna beat his buddies to death with his ribcage. But don't get too cocky, because I have about 700 other suggestions in my inbox that are terrible. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go work on a sponsor video because damn it, I've earned it. Say hi, YouTube chat. Get it out of the way. I promise I will put this in the video. If I do not put this in the video, I give you full permission to like skin me alive. And whoever you are listening to this right now, this is your sign. You've earned it too. Whatever it is, that thing, you've earned it. Treat yourself today because you might be dead tomorrow. That really came across like a threat. But whatever, I'm leaving it in. And if you do, internet stranger, decide to give me the privilege of your time again, then I will see you. Our soccer tower, August 20th. Goodbye. What on earth? You give me a bowl of pasta? <laughs> what is this? Why is this the only thing I get for this dungeon?